Okay, are we going down down the rabbit hole? Let's go. Let's do it. We got okay. an hour to the beer tasting. Okay. So we so, can. So should we start with the State of the Union or should we start with the impeachment? Um. Yeah, let's start with the State of the Union because okay, that, that happened first. last night. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. We're gonna pull it up. You, yeah, I, I got the gonna... I got the highlights here. Okay. Yeah. We can. Or pull do we? Some... Uh, okay. Yeah. Let's go down the highlights and. <laughs> yeah. Let's because that kind of hit the main points of it. Okay. I Did guess. you watch them? Yeah. Okay, so um, here, State of the Union highlights. Uh, here we go. So every, what is this, every year? Every year. Every year State you, of the you Union. get one State of the Union, yeah. right, to let us know, yep, hey, yep. this is a new year, this is where things are at. And this is what our goals are. Yeah. Oh, look at that picture. Old bitch. <laughs> okay, so the state of my toilet after that Taco Bell, dude, that's probably rancid. I, I dude, the state of a toilet after any Mexican food, he's and that's not a over, racist remark. That's just true. The, he's taking over the podcast. <laughs> he is. Fuck you, HR. Shut <laughs> up. We're trying to do something here. Okay, um, so go ahead. Six. This is the six surprising and emotional moments from Trump's State of the Union address. Okay, I think really, I think one of the biggest things was, um, well, the, the, let's start. Let's just go down the list. Okay. Okay. So here's number one. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi rips up a copy that of the That was definitely speech. the headline yeah. of the of the whole State of the Union. Yeah. Was, uh, this happened at the end of the speech. But uh, why don't you play the video? So, finish. actually, hold on. i got to actually pull up another video. So, there was a little bit in the beginning, too, where usually you say, uh, the honorable, it's my honor to present Mr. Yeah. President Trump Snoop or whatever. Dog, and I'm giving right. a shout-out to Signal. Shut the fuck, fuck up, Snoop, Snoop Dogg. Dog. Dumbass. Um, but she didn't do that. She just said, "Still shining." Okay, wait. And my. So this was at the end of his. At the end of it. Uh, here we go. Let's play this. Race this is, a short clip. is still shining. And my fellow Americans, the best is yet to come. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless. God Either bless no the USA. Okay. So we see this evil bitch in the background. Oh, hey, Melania, how's it going? Melania's you did a good like, job. Oh, oh, does someone have her feelings hurt? Oh, someone throwing a little temper tantrum back there, Nancy. No class, dude. No class. No class. No professionalism. No tact. Poor loser. Doesn't belong in politics. I'm sorry. Race is still. So, what, what's your take on that, Chris? What's your take on it? Um, as a American, as a professional. How about just as an American? As, as a as a politician, I thought that was kind of. I don't know. <laughs> I I didn't like it, but I didn't hate it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I kind of like that she was making a statement. But at the same time, I don't know if that was the appropriate place for it. Chris, I think she's made enough statements with the whole impeachment thing. Yeah, that's that you know what this looks like to me? She already knew that she wasn't going to win yeah, this. Yeah, I don't think that was the right time. Thank to you, do. Morris. Shameful. I don't it's think that shameful. was the right time to do that. Like, it, especially if you're trying to make your party look better or more respectable. Right. Like that's I, un, that's classless. Like, like you got in this instance where the president is given his State of the Union, no matter how much you don't trust what he's saying or what he is saying it's like you got to show some type of unity although i know that it's always been like that where you the show republicans respect. get up the republicans get up and clap and then you show respect occasionally the democrats will get up and clap right. if they agree with what he's glad, talking I'm glad about you brought that, up, Christopher. Um, that happens all the time right. that happens with every president like uh the democrats won't clap at everything that a republican right. president right. will say and vice versa right um which is fine but um but does the House Speaker ever act like that? Has they ever? I've never seen someone no do no tact, childish, extremely rude. Yeah, I don't, I've never seen someone do that, and it was obviously here's, sending a clear message. So here's my thing: it's not that she's disrespecting the president. She's yeah. everything that's in that speech has to do with America. There were people honored in that speech. There sure. was people that lost their lives in that speech. Sure. And by her doing that, she just says "fuck all of it." I don't care because if Trump says it, it just doesn't matter to me. And that's where the the Democrats are going. If de if Trump mentions anything, they're against it, even if it is for the betterment of our country. Yeah. And that's childish. It's yeah. immature. It's unprofessional. They're not looking out for the best interests of their constituents. They're they're looking out for 
they want to win. Yeah. That's all they care about. Yeah. And, I mean, I don't care. Even in professional sports, like, you got to learn to lose, okay? Yeah. Uh, in politics, in life, if things don't go your way, you do not act like that. That is not someone I would say... Hey, daughter, this is someone you should look up to and behave like. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you be, know what I mean. I'd be, I'd be lying if I said I thought that was. And that's the leader of the was party. A, that wasn't the right time. That's to one do of the leaders of this like party. That. You got to show unity as a country when this kind of thing is delivered, even if you don't agree with everything he's saying. You got to be like, hey, I hate this fucking guy's guts, but we're supposed to be together on this. That's why. That's why the vice president and her are sitting next to each other up there is because it's supposed to be a show of unity, right? Yeah. So um, you want to go? You go ahead. I'll let you read it. Uh, Start with Morris. Morris said, shameful. You can't defend that. And then Wario said, no tact. Child is extremely rude. Rude. It's rude. And, <laughs> and you're then, rude. Nancy, you're rude. If Trump did it to her, there would be hell in the press. Well, there was hell in the press for her doing this. There was. <laughs> she caught a lot of flack. CNN was, like, cheering her on. Of course they are because they're, they're a left leading news network but i'm sure the right was slamming her just as hard okay as she let's, was let's just be human beings she let's, was let's, getting hold she on. was getting slammed let me take doing let, this. let's take po- politi- politics out of this okay let's take parties out of this just human being the human being that's a fucking bullshit thing to do she, i get it you know what i mean she obviously but she's this but guy. she's the like, leader she's the leader of this party right, right. your leader is a dipshit yeah how does that? Ma- I mean, I'd be shame. I'd be I'd, if I was a Democrat. I'd be like, dude, you just made us all look like assholes. Yeah, you made us all look like. That's the curiosity. You know I'm, I mean? thinking, I'm like, I don't know what the Democrats are saying behind closed doors about this kind of thing, but I guarantee not all of Democrats agreed. With I think that. she should be impeached for that. <laughs> That's <laughs> disrespectful. If we're she just making up laws illegal. to impeach people. Neither did Trump, buddy. Yes, he, and that's well. where I'd like to sum it up. There. <laughs> Neither did Trump. Well, there was no abuse of power is not illegal unless you can tell me a specific crime. I used my power okay, to we'll break. Okay, we'll get into that. That's leading into something else. But let's finish okay, let's up. Fi- with, okay, okay, with let's this. let's okay, go. We're, let's we're, keep going. We're gonna get there. So this was the main topic of the whole uh, <laughs> right thing. Did I think it? <sighs> You can't defend it. That's basically what I'm having a hard time with the Democratic Party right now or supporting anybody like in it right now just cuz the heads of the party are so out of touch with like they what are, what, what what should what be going like I, Trump could be shooting himself in the foot so much and But and they just they make but it they worse. make it worse. <laughs> Isn't that government worse. property? The spe- I don't know. Just because Trump writes something on a paper, I don't think it becomes government property. Mom. I mean, pe- I, I saw people saying like, "Oh, she should be in Trump for, uh, impeached for tearing that stuff up," and I'm like, "I mean, All bottom right, line is, if, if they, my, they, it's just people saying." If stuff, I had, but. I'm just saying, if my leader, like, if if my leader was acting like a spoiled brat, I'd be like, "Dude, we need to get this lady out of here. She's fucking delusional. She's acting like a child. It's crazy." She's like what, sixty something years old? I mean, this is the night before. But this is the night before so, the final, right, right, the right. final verdict vote. for the the final vote for the trial. So everybody gave so, Trump and shit I think, about this. I, I think we all know the Senate was going to vote a particular way. Everyone gave Trump shit about this. Um, shit. When he comes up and he gives him the speech, I guess Pelosi tried to shake his hand and he just turned around. Dude, she just tried to fucking impeach him. I wouldn't shake that bitch's hand either. I don't I don't even know if Trump like Trump might have saw it. Ah! There, there was a little ooh like like in the crowd there when that happened too. You can hear it. Yeah, they don't say the honorable either. I'm sure the house t- speaker told us not to say honorable. But he just says introducing the president. Well, they asked her her lead aide about what she did and he said he had no idea she was going to do that. Oh, rip up the paper? No, the... Oh, the... Change the way the he intro? introduced her. Yeah, they introduced him. Hey, fuck you, bitch. Sit granted, on it. Granted, he didn't shake... He didn't shake Pence's hand either. He didn't. So, so I don't know if that was like... He did just, he catch he, that? You know or what? did he miss he's, it? He's there to, do, he's there to get business he, done. Was he purposely ignoring that? They, it could have gone both ways. That was... It was hard to tell from I'm not that sure what this one is. America, thank you very much. Wait, what? America, thank you. Oh, it's her ripping the fucking paper in the background. Okay. What a cunt. (laughs) I'm not running for office. I can say whatever I want. 
Okay, award he now another big uh, one that he awarded Rush Limbaugh the highest. What's up, Flying Banana? How you doing? Hey, Flying Banana, man, it's been a while. How you been? Uh, hey, he isn't <laughs> fake. I would have shaken his hand, but he did. But he did shake Pence's hand. He, he didn't did, shake Pence's didn't, hand either. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Didn't shake his hand. Um, yeah, he's not fake, bro. You're trying to fucking, you're trying to oust me. I'm not shaking your hand. I'll be courteous to you. I mean, then you're talking about being professional. Then maybe you should, maybe you should be like, hey, I'm the bigger man. I can shake your hand and we can move on I from mean, here. Then it would have made her look really bad. But then maybe, I'm she, thinking maybe, maybe she, she maybe took maybe that she, as a scorn. Because yeah. the, way, the way the crowd reacted, that probably pissed her off. Off the bat. Like, r- like right there. That probably was like. Well, bottom line is, he who's the boss here? He's the boss, really. If you look at it, he's the boss. He doesn't have to kiss your ass. You got to kiss his ass. I mean, tech. I mean, I'm just trying to look at it as like a workplace kind of a deal. It's right? not a workplace. It's, these are politicians. I understand. It's not the same. I mean, it should be more like a workplace instead of just free market. She was voted. Rich. She was there, put there by the people. Mm-hmm. And so was, was Trump. She? Was she? So okay. Anyway, anyway, we're getting off topic. Rush Limbaugh was awarded the. Presidential Medal of Freedom, which is the highest medal and honor you can get as a civilian. I don't like Limbaugh. I know you don't like Rush, but a lot of people do. I'd say about half the country does. So I want to play this, and you I know, I don't think half the country does. I think like, I think like half of the Almost right every likes American Rush family Limbaugh. Knows He's a little pain. extreme. He is. When a loved one is diagnosed. Well, you with talk a about fake illness. news. Like Rush Limbaugh Here is tonight is a spe- he, has, he, has, he has stage four cancer. He, Shut up. Who cares? His, so, I can still criticize so his, some the compassion. job. I can still criticize his right. job that he you does can. and what he says. He talks like a fucking idiot sometimes. Okay, but guess what? That is his stick. He's not Alec Jones. That's that's. I mean, he gets pretty close sometimes. But like, <laughs> I like, don't think he's that he, crazy. His stick is to. He's conservative. To he's like he's like Colin Cowherd for sports. It's like he throws out these lines just to get people to view, to look at him, and watch him, and listen to him. And and that's his thing. And I, like I don't blame people for like like Stephen A. Smith. He's like that kind of guy too. Where it's like he'll they'll just throw. Is out, he gonna rub someone the wrong way? And the, he doesn't just, care. That's they'll fine. They'll just throw stuff out it's there. It's like because, Howard Stern. Yeah, it's like Howard Stern too. It's it's that they're all shock jocks I'll, I don't in their care, own way. Yeah, right. I don't care if I piss people off. Same I fucking just, thing I'm we do. Att- I'm getting attention. Right. <laughs> that's the same thing. I, yeah. Look at me, motherfuckers. <laughs> no, I'm just but kidding. But <laughs> that's the whole thing. I don't know if he okay, deserves well, a fucking medal for what he's done. Well, you know what? You're not the president, and the president deemed that he does deserve a medal. So can we? Can we? That's his number one. But that's fine. But show respect. I don't care. You should show a hey, show respect. Just because you don't I mean, agree with it, I don't show want respect. him to. I don't want him to die. I hope he recovers from cancer. I hope okay, he lives. so can we watch this? But fuck Russian ball, man. <laughs> You're a dick. I, <laughs> I, I hope he lives. You're heartless, bro. I, I hope he lives. Who I hope he makes it through cancer. But stage I could care less about him in his show. Diagnosis. Okay, but we're still gonna watch the clip. This is not good news. Whatever. But what is good news? <laughs> don't be a hater, Chris. Is that he Rush is the greatest fighter and winner. He's an asshole. You don't know. Me. You don't know him personally. What we're supposed to forgive Limbaugh. people for what Thank they say just because they got cancer now? No, no. You can still be no. an asshole and have cancer. Country. What? What? What did he say that made him an asshole to you personally? I listened to his show. Okay, I, I'm what person? Gonna, name one thing. I'm not gonna pull stuff. Okay, right now. so just relax. Let's just let the man I, have his I moment. Don't have specific, I don't listen to his show, but I've heard the few clips I've heard of him talk. I, I can tell you, I think he's a fucking idiot. Well, you know how clips work. I can make anybody sound like an idiot yeah, with it's clips. It's what he says, though. It's what he says. It's not. But you got to listen to the whole context. No, it's not just you, the context. Bro, let me see the Melania nudes. <laughs> like, let, let me put it this way. Like, eight track, you're terrible. That's our first lady. Show some respect, goddammit. it. done for our nation, the millions of people a day that you speak to and that you inspire, and all of the incredible work blah, blah, that you have blah, done for charity. See, you're, you're, blah, 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 blah. This is what happens when your leaders rip up tonight that papers. You you blah, blah, even you have no respect. Shame on you. Civilian blah, 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 honor. The president is talking. Shut your mouth. Of freedom. I'm not a Rush Limbaugh fan like in you. S- supremely surprised by that. No, he was, he was extremely surprised. You're terrible, Chris. You're showing your ignorance. <laughs> Hey, buddy, do me a big favor and get me a beer. You need one, too, it looks like. All right. Thanks. I don't want to watch this anyway. Yeah, get out of here, you hater. This man had a long career. He deserved... He he brings light to a lot of topics most journalists don't want to touch because they can get shit for it, and they will get shit for it. 
I you know, will now ask he, do you agree with everything the, the guy says? No. United States but to he, present you he does, he's not a, the He's honor, not a please. bullshit journalist. He's a shock jock. He's a fucking shock jock, okay? Do what I don't you know gotta, about that. Hey, do what you got to do to make your money. Do I think he deserves a medal for it? No. Well, Obama gave all kinds of fucking medals to people who didn't deserve it. <laughs> but hey, you know what? Even if, oh. even if he doesn't... Des- deserve it how about you give it to a war veteran instead of a propaganda hold on hold on we're getting there big guy we're getting there don't try to make like trump don't hook up the fucking military don't try to make like this guy with some saint of the republicans no i don't think that was the case at all i'm a moderate guy but like, I like Steven Crowder. I don't mind listening to Steven Crowder or Ben Shapiro and those guys. Like, at least they are smart and they make sense. I don't this think this guy, guy is stupid. This guy. And he has some intelligence. I'm not saying he's a dumb guy. Okay. But it, Okay, okay, Chris. Let's just move on from Rush, Rush yeah, before you fucking go. blow I, a I'm, fucking I'm fuse. Just, I don't care about that. Rush, you got, you got Rush, my support, big Rush, guy. Rush, I don't wish death upon you, but... I don't really care us for conservative, your work. I don't really care us for Us conservative work. Commenta- commentaries or commenters and DJs or whatever you want to call us. We got to stick together, Rush. I'm with you, big guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Trump surprises military wife with the return of soldier husband. I thought this was touching. This of is course. nice. As yeah. we defend American lives, we are working to end America's wars in the Middle East, in Afghanistan, the determination and valor of our war fighters has allowed us to make tremendous progress, and peace talks are now underway. I am not looking to kill hundreds of thousands of people in Afghanistan, many of them totally innocent. It is also not our function to serve other nations as law enforcement agencies. These are war fighters that we have, the best have in the world. Bush that before we went into and Iraq. And they either but. want to fight to win or not fight at all. Nah, we are I'm not defending to Bush. We finally end <laughs> America's longest war and bring our troops back home. It's getting work done. <sighs> I did notice all the military and the judges, they don't they don't clap for anything. He yeah. War places a heavy burden They're, on They don't want to pull out. Military families, the military doesn't want to pull out. I mean, no one ever wants Amy to pull Williams out, but it's the thing you got to do, Chris. Fort Bragg, North Carolina. I don't. Oh, no. two children, <laughs> Shut up. Listen, listen. Eliana, You're sick. I'm married. And three-year-old <laughs> Rowan. Amy works full-time and volunteers countless hours helping other military families. For the past seven months, she has done it all while her husband, Sergeant First Class Townsend Williams, is in Afghanistan on his fourth deployment in the Middle East. Amy's kids haven't seen their father's face in many months. Amy, your family's sacrifice makes it possible for all of our families to live in safety and in peace, and we want to thank you. Thank you, Amy. Cheers to the military, Chris. We got to cheers to the military. Yeah, cheers to that. Them doing their work lets us be idiots on this, on this TV or Internet. I support our military. Don't get me wrong. They, they're great. They're amazing people. Better than any of us on the show. Well, I wouldn't go that far. But Amy. I know some bad military guys. No, there is one more thing. Tonight we have a very special surprise. I am thrilled to inform you that your husband is back from deployment. He is here with us tonight, and we couldn't keep him waiting any longer. Hi, Joey. Baby cakes. Oh, I love seeing this. Yeah. I, I always love seeing I always get, videos. dude, I always get teared <laughs> up when I see these things, dude. Baby cakes, how you doing, my love? Hi, hey, baby. What is he? A, he's a Marine, huh? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Pelosi sitting down. I, I'm wondering, are State of the Unions always like this kind of like spectacle-ish, though? Like, he I did a lot so. of stuff I like this. I think so. 
I mean, you know? they usually do honors and stuff like that for people during the State of yeah. the Union. I mean, they said no one's been ever been given the medal. That medal? The medal during the State of the Union before. It's Trump, bro. He does what the fuck he wants. Stop him. <laughs> Try and stop him. You can't. You can't stop him. I mean, this is this is amazing. But no, this is yeah. good stuff. But uh. USA, 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 USA. Chris, you're not in it. USA, USA. He's not in it. He's not in it, guys. Chris hates the USA apparently. Where I are you gonna the, move? I love my country. You gonna move to Canada, like your sister? Welcome home, <laughs> traitor. No, I'm just kidding. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so next thing. Uh, Trump rec recognizes a hundred-year-old Tuskegee Airman with great grandson who wants to join Space Force. This is actually kind of a and cool thing too. And just weeks ago, for the first time since President Truman established the Air Force, more than seventy years earlier, we created a brand new branch of the United States Armed Forces. It's called the Space Force. Yeah. Very it important. It kind of makes me laugh how he says Very it. Very important. Though. It's called. The space force. Space force. <laughs> it does make me laugh when he says it. But it's true. What's the next frontier, man? I think, okay. I well, don't think it's a bad idea. Tonight, I'll get we have conspiracy a theories about that. Young Ooh. gentleman. I like that. <laughs> and what he wants so badly, 13 years old, Ian Lonfay. He's an eighth grader from Arizona. Ian, please stand up. Ian has always space dreamed balls. of going to space. He was the first in his class and among the youngest at an aviation academy. He aspires to go to the Air Force Academy, and then he has his eye on the Space Force. Dude, he might be the first Picard. As Ian Picard. says, most people look up at space might be on Mars. and want to look down on the world. I like that. You got to follow through now, man. Pressure's yeah, on. Yeah, you can't fuck up now, buddy. You better be a fucking <laughs> rocket scientist. You better not be doing drugs and fucking yeah, partying. Don't start smoking weed in high school, buddy. Straight to MIT for you. Studying yeah. all your life. Let's go. Space Force. I Air Force. Sitting behind Academy. Ian tonight Pressure's is his on. greatest hero of them all. Charles McGee was born in Cleveland, Ohio, one century ago. That's crazy, 100 years Charles old. Charles is one of the He's last good surviving looking too. Tuskegee Airmen, the first black fighter pilots, and he also happens to be Ian's great-grandfather. That's pretty dope. Great-grandfather. Yeah, he looks good for 100. For 100 years old, man, he's in good shape. He's still standing. He's yeah. Still, yeah he, dude. I hope I live to 100. <laughs> I, I hope I look that good. And he if survived I, the Tuskegee experiments? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. If, this guy's a gangster. If you lived to that old, you'd be glad you're in that condition. Hell yeah. Know that. He might be in better shape than I am right now. Yeah, no shit. I mean, the Tuskegee Airmen, they got fucked over big time. They went through, They basically give them all syphilis. Yeah. So that guy survived syphilis. That's good, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> okay, this kind of... This was touching to me, but this kind of pissed me off at the same token. Okay. Because what? Just watch Pelosi. That's all I gotta say. Is just watch her. Okay. The next step forward in building an inclusive society is making sure that every young American gets a great education. That's right, education. And the opportunity to achieve the American dream. Yet for too long, countless American children have been trapped in failing government schools. To rescue these students, 18 states have created school choice in the form of opportunity scholarships. The programs are so popular that tens of thousands of students remain on a waiting list. One of those students is Janiah Davis, a fourth grader from Philadelphia. Janiah. Who's this Chinese lady, by the way? Why is she just like in the middle of everything? <laughs> and she's not even looking back. She's yeah. just looking forward. She's like, I'm gonna show She doesn't know what's camera. going on. Well, she has that weight. I'm pooping in my bed. Janiah's <laughs> mom, Stephanie, is a single parent. <laughs> she would do anything to give her daughter a better future. But last year, that future was put further out of reach when Pennsylvania's governor vetoed legislation to expand school choice to 50,000 children. Janiah and Stephanie are in the gallery. Stephanie, 
Thank you so much for being here with your beautiful daughter. Thank you very much. Dude, people are sitting on the stairs. This whole stand up and clap shit is so like, I don't know. Clap, fine. But like the whole like, Dude, but Janiyah, it's, I have it's some not about good them. It's about the you. purpose behind the it. Whole I am pleased to inform it you like, that listen. your long wait is over. I can proudly announce tonight that an opportunity scholarship has become available. It's going to you, and you will soon be heading to the school of your choice. So when you talk about this whole stand up and clap thing, it's not, they're not standing up and clapping for specifically these people. It's the program that they represent. Right. So that's what would make, you know, the congressmen and them stand up and applaud for this, right? Yeah. Okay. It's, it's theater. It's fucking theater, though. Okay. Well, your leader I mean, doesn't perform well because she doesn't stand up. She it, sits the whole time. She I, doesn't stand not, up and applaud. Not for this. She doesn't. Yeah. But don't Democrats want, like, better schools and all this stuff for people? Well, shouldn't she be applauding this? I mean, Trump's slamming government schools. Shouldn't he be, he, he shit. be doing, shouldn't he be doing a better job to Chris, improve that situation Where'd you go to school? as president? Where'd you go to school? Private school, yeah, right? I, I went to public school. I know how shitty a pub, pu public Your high public school, school is. Your public school is actually pretty highly rated. No, it's not, that's terrible, dude. My books are from the 80s. Okay, I'm just saying. My book was printed in 1986, okay, but you're, you, that, the year after I was born, I, and that's what I was learning out of but in you're 2003. The point. No, you're missing the point. As Chris. a president, you should be making your government schools better. Then, right? You're you're saying, oh, these government schools are shitty. <laughs> oh, shit. H. Sorry. Hold well, on. whose whose fault is that? Is it the president's fault that our government schools are so shitty? Maybe he should do something about that. Maybe that's he should what, hire. That, that, do you maybe not, he should hire. See, you're not listening to the program. He's trying to make it where people have open choice to where they send because right, right now everybody would send their kids to the best school in the district of in course. the districts hold, hold and on. then all the shitty all the poor schools don't get funding and then all the what you send so, the poor kids to one school and you send the rich no, kids, kids to another that's school that's not what it's about listen or it's you scholarships start, hold on it's scholarships that they give out but they right now they're trying to get for more what? a private school no it's scholar you can go to basically it doesn't matter what district you're in it, it takes away the district lines okay so it's like if i live in milani or let's say I live in Waianae and I have to go to Waianae High School. I'm not saying it's a bad school or anything. I'm just picking right. that. But um, I can literally say, no, I don't want to go here. I want to go to Milani. And the cost, whatever it's going to incur, for instance, if they got to take a make a bus come out and pick me up, it's covered under that uh, with that scholarship. It's not like I don't have to go to P It's not like, hey, you can go to Punahou. You still got to test private to get in. Private school is different, though. They, but you're I talking about private school. But I, I understand that. But what I'm saying is this is about government-run state schools and federal schools. They can choose what district they want to go to and the funds. It's not like they're getting a full scholarship to go to Punahou or Iolani or anything like that. If they want to go to Milani or if they want to go to Kaiser or Moana Loa, they can go there. And if they if there's more in cost incurred of like you know picking them up transportation or whatever these scholarships cover those costs. I don't know. I I think you have to make all schools better. You just have to make school. Some Poor schools put most of their money toward their football field. <laughs> I mean sometimes Trump that's gone. Trump gone. Oprah is what Morris said. Well, a track makes a good point though. It's just hey if. You're in a in your poor neighborhood. Maybe sports is the only way out of that neighborhood, or, or something like well, here, that. You know what I mean? Here's like the thought process behind. Sometimes this, that's Chris. the best investment you can make in your school because at least it gets those kids out of those. So, but those, here's here's the thought process behind this whole this like whole that. system is when schools start to see like, hey, we're losing, we're losing enrollment. attendance yeah. and enrollment. We need to start upping our game to bring these students back. Well, that back. all comes from government funding. Yeah, well, not always, dude. It a lot of it has to. to do with curriculum and stuff like that. The Department of Education is run by a government. Yeah. And it goes all the way okay, up to so the Okay, so level. then why are some districts better than others? Because they don't get the proper funding. They they just don't. And they don't pay their teachers enough. Like, Hawaii, overall, like, the public schools here do not get enough money. Like, teachers do not yeah. get paid no, enough. No, they don't. Um, you Because know, trust me, most of your kids out there are fucking assholes. And to deal with and them on a daily basis, they should get six figures. When I lived in Nevada, the school district there was fucking oh, horrible, it's too. Horrible. Um, it's horrible. It's literally your government and how they treat the money and how they take care of money. If you want, like, you got to improve the situations. Like, 
that's the problem is I can't just tell my kid to go to this better school and I'll pay for it. It's not that. It's that you don't have enough staff. You don't have enough room in classrooms. Yeah, you don't have enough so, amenities to supply these kids. So what's going to end up happening, like, though, is with, the schools that have the bigger, then, the bigger enrollment, is the money's going to go to those schools to fund it better. But if Wyna only has 20 students because everyone else went to Mililani, they're only going to get 20 students worth of funding. And eventually, those 20 kids are going to say— How is that a good thing? Because if it's a shitty school, it should be. Sh- it's like any business. If it's shitty, shut it down. Send people where it's fucking good. You can't treat school like that, man. Like people don't have. You can't money. treat school like oh, people it's, don't it's have all the money same. to just send their child to whatever school they want to. Some people don't, can't afford to sh- to bust their kid it's to the better school. It's still public school. Yeah, but you, some parents can't afford that. So especially in Hawaii, like you, uh, you're gonna really pay for your kid to take a bus every day and pay an extra fee for being there because they're outside their district and all I that would. stuff. If it's a better school. Dude, people are paying $2,000 for a two-bedroom fucking apartment. Oh, no. In Hawaii, it's tough. I get like, it. Like, so what do you... I live what here, you bro. Gonna, I like, live here, too. And you have a parent who... who Say there's a single parent. How the fuck are they going to afford that? Hey. It's... N- you got to make... You got to make schools in the district... It's if a consequence the, if, you're, of life if your sometimes. school in your district is underperforming, the government has to help that school improve or get better or but that's offer the, more but money that's the to problem. Teachers, that's the problem, though, is they've given these schools more money and they haven't improved. Okay, they they well, just... Some you know where's the money go? Then I don't know. He needs to hire somebody better to to take over the Department of Education because everybody knows that. But the I mean, person it's been he has shit. in charge of it right first now all, is garbage. First of all, it's been he's shit. basically slamming himself Chris, when he says it's been shit since we were kids. Yeah, I don't know. It's I don't been shit since it. we were kids. I feel like so. Don't sh- put it all on Trump that the the education is bad now. I mean, it 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 trickles up to the. But top, I do think it's funny that A Track said the Chinese woman is trying to give POTUS Corona. <laughs> Who I want now? I want to know who that Chinese lady was with. Who's trying to give the president coronavirus? Okay, no, says, let's, like, guys. I have a butt. Let's move but, on to this next uh, part because this is we're getting. I don't. I don't know. Now we want to rebuild our country, and that's exactly what we're doing. We are rebuilding our, our country. country as we restore American leadership. Yanks are the dumb world. shit. We are once again standing up for freedom in our hemisphere. That's why my administration reversed the failing policies of the previous administration on Cuba. On Cuba. We are supporting the hopes of Cubans, Nicaraguans, and Venezuelans to restore democracy. The United States is leading a 59-nation diplomatic coalition against the socialist dictator of Venezuela, Nicolas Maduro. (laughs) I don't like Maduro. Yeah, he's a dick. He's a fucking tyrant. Maduro is an illegitimate ruler, a tyrant who brutalizes his people. But Maduro's grip on tyranny will be smashed and And broken. broken. Here this evening, it's a very brave man who carries with him the hopes, dreams, and aspirations of all Venezuelans. Joining us in the gallery is the true and legitimate president of Venezuela, Juan Guaido. Mr. President. Please take this <laughs> message back to your So this guy's supposed to be the president, I guess, of Venezuela? How you doing, Morris? Out, where did the Yanks are dumb come from? Is it from the educational system we run here? Yeah. Free. It, it, our education system sucks. Thank you, Mr. President. Great honor. Thank you very much. Please take this message back that all Americans are united with the Venezuelan people in their righteous struggle for freedom. Thank you very much, Mr. President. That's what they need in the, in the, in the Senate, that horn. They need the horn. <laughs> but yeah, those are the basic, like, I guess those were like the big six, uh, Highlights. Highlights of the speech.